An A-B split campaign allows you to send two similar emails to two small parts of your whole group, and then automatically send the more popular email to the rest of the group. There are two ways of creating an A-B split test campaign when in the campaign area. You can use the quick link here, or you can click Create Campaign, and then choose A-B split campaign here. Next, you have to choose the type of campaign you'd like to use. The best way to test two different emails is to only change one thing at a time, and that's why each type of split campaign only allows you to change one variable. Here are the differences. The first type allows you to test two different subject lines and then automatically send the winning one to the rest of the group. Just type in the subject lines, and that's it. After this, you can just continue like a regular campaign. The second type allows you to test different senders' names and email addresses. First, type in your subject line, then put in your choices. Then, continue as usual. The third type leaves the subject and sender the same, but allows you to change the content of the email. To do that, click Next. I'm going to choose a template for the first email. After you're done editing, you'll get the chance to either copy the same email, so you can just add the changes you like, or you can start from scratch. This will take you to the screen where you can choose your editor. I want to see if a plain text looking email will work better. Let me just write some text. And when you're done, just press Next. Choose your subscriber group, and then Next again. Every campaign type will eventually bring you to this step. Here, you can choose the size of your test group. I'll change this from 25% to 20%, so that 360 people will get email A, and another 360 will get email B. And after the more popular email is declared, it will be sent to the rest of the group. In this case, it will be sent to the rest 1080, which is roughly 60%. And now you should decide whether you want the winner to be chosen based on the number of opened emails or based on the number of emails with links being clicked. Now, choose the test period before the winning email is to be sent, and then click Next. Here you can review your campaign, use the Edit buttons for any changes you wish to make, and once you're ready, move on to the Send section. Now either click Send Now or Send Later, and click Send. After the set time, your campaign will move from Outbox to Send, and then you'll be able to follow all the changes and statistics using the View Report button by the specific campaign. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.